Hello and welcome back to Season 1 of the Two Idiots Baseball Franchise. Let's see where we are with the Washington Nationals. All right, everybody. So we have reviewed the trade block. We have signed our draft picks. And we have extended the contracts of a few key players. Still much left to do in the rest of this first season with the Washington Nationals, but we are in the dumps. Uh, 40 and 66. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me remember we had this, we discussed, I don't remember if it was on a recording or off, but we discussed, you know, hey, where, where do you think our record's going to be at the end of the year? And the two of mm. us were like, you know, you were like, you faced like, what, 102 losses? Was that your kind of your... Was that we your... were both right about a hundred. I, yeah, I, I was looking. Something. I was looking for ninety nine losses to be the most because I think I'd like to be under the hundred losses because hundred losses is kind of a key talking point when you talk about a bad team, you yeah. know, in baseball. It's, oh, they had a hundred losses. You know, that means they only had you know sixty two wins. So <laughs> I, I I don't know if that's going to happen for us. Well, I think that's what it was. I think you had you had guessed based on a loss value. You didn't want to have a hundred losses, and then I think. That I said I wanted like sixty wins, yeah. and it ended up being to where we were just about saying the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. from opposite ends there. So yeah, yeah. so um, I don't know how likely it is that we'll hit that number. It may be worse. Uh, we are six and four in our last ten, so we're trending just a pinch upwards. Um, but yeah, we're twenty five games behind. Uh, we are well out of shot from. Um, <laughs> any we, wild card aspirations. We, we were out of the shot of a wild card spot. Day two. <laughs> well, sure. <laughs> but there was a moment, there was a brief moment in time, if you remember, yeah. uh, where we were ranked second in the division. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. I think that true. was after like three games played. But yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, we were two, we were two and one. <laughs> two and one. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, were, we were right there. We were almost leading the division. Yeah, I remember that. No, I think it was a little hot. We were taught, we were tied. Everyone was tied for second, wasn't it? Or something yeah, like that. All yeah. Four of the bottom ones were all tied. Yeah, we're, we were all eight and six or some stupid shit. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> but here we are. Um, you know, more than halfway through the season. Um, uh, but we've got some important things still ahead of us. Uh, I don't think we're going to be making any trades off the trade block. Uh, at least not initiating any. We'll see if any offers come in. But, um. We are done with contract extensions. We have signed our draft picks, all six of them. Uh, and now it just remains to be seen what their actual overall values are going to be. And I'm excited to see those numbers because these guys are hopefully going to be the lifeblood of, you know, the new kids on the block and injecting uh, some new skills and hopefully some dependability into the lineup, into the bullpen. And giving us a little bit of relief at uh, not a big ticket number attached to it. So we'll yeah. see. Yeah, they're, they're, like I said, we have some good potential. So hopefully they pan out. And hopefully our first year of scouting wasn't all a mistake. <laughs> and yeah. we both hope Richard Griffiths is a fucking bum pitcher. You know, if it comes down to it, maybe we make a trade for Richard Griffiths. We get him anyways. I don't <laughs> hey, know. maybe they'll take Lucchesi. Maybe they'll take Lucchesi. Uh, too bad, too bad he's not in the roster yet, because that's the first <laughs> thing I do. Hey, here's a veteran pitcher for your unknown talent. Let's take. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make that trade. We'll yeah. put Griffith on the mound today if that's the case. Yeah, but he's not even oh, on the roster, man. so we can't even. No. And Lucchesi's gone after this year. I don't think he's got yeah. a. I don't think he's got a, a. I don't think we have him for another year, do we? Fuck, I hope not. I don't want him for another year. Here so do I. We'll put, we'll, put him, we'll put him down in <laughs> a ball. We'll put him down yeah. at A so he can become a king. Well, we could just waiver him. I mean, let somebody else pick him up. That's true. That's true. All right. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and kick off this three-game series with Milwaukee. They are 57-49 and 49 on the year so far. We're going against Freddie Peralta, and we are putting up Jake Irvin, and we'll see what happens. Critical, Critical situation. situation. We are in the lead. Finnegan's looking to close it out in the top of the ninth. I think we watch it. Let's go have a look. Milwaukee's been held to only two hits this game. We step in to the top of the ninth. Kyle Finnegan looking to close it out with a one-run lead. One out. Below the zone, but 
pitching on display here for us on this game, I guess. Only two hits allowed for Milwaukee. Something's happening here. Oh, that's just out. Oh. Come on, Finnegan. Come on, dude. You got this. There you go. Two one. Timing's off a little bit there, that high fastball. Ooh. Dead in the center of the zone. He needs to count up to two and two. Oh, I thought that was going to be it right there. I thought that was going to strike him out. Oh. It but it is right there. Up next to Milwaukee. Finnegan's been okay with runners on base. Yeah, he's 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 pitched out of some jams a few times. Yeah. And that wasn't a bad pitch. I don't feel like that was you know, anything that you should feel bad about right now. Takes one for strike one. One hundred miles an hour. Yep. I didn't think Finnegan would be hitting the hundo, but he did. Oh, that's not going to do it. This guy's over three. Don't pussy foot around him. <laughs> Ooh, and that could be it. Looks like a routine double play. And it is. Finnegan gets two in the short order. Now that's the first base. Lose four. Nice turn over to first. And for the final out, potentially, Luke Voigt. Great pitch. That's a really good spot to put that. Two seamer at 99. That was not a very good spot, but luckily for us, it's fouled in the left. God, that crack of the bat makes me fucking yeah. nervous. <laughs> yeah, I cringe every Jesus. time. Jesus. That guy was swinging for the fences, too. <laughs> just look at him. He's just looking to do damage. Yep. Trying to tie it up with one swing of the bat. Oh. Oh, and that gets through in the left, and we are back at situation still plenty of ways to get out of this Not sweating bullets yet that will hurt the whip of Kyle Finnegan oh big rowdy Telez he's uh -oh. scary power right down the middle one one gets tempting fate here That Voight guy had a weird, like, swing. Yeah. Where he kicked yeah. his leg out or something. That was different. <laughs> Good pitch. And again, still keeping his composure here. Just don't serve one down the middle. Yeah, Still drop another one in the bottom. Right in the corner. Ooh, can't get him to chase. Now something a little off speed and low. Get him chasing. No front and chasing. Yep. Oh, I would have thrown a splitter the there. <laughs> Jesus. You can keep it, keep it down. I mean, it's okay. A little bit, yeah, that was a little too. Oh, that's not going to do it. Two and two now to Rowdy Telez. That guy back there is having a moment with his popcorn dish. <laughs> this is the slider inside. Count goes full. To rack the nerves a little bit here. Come on, Finnegan, finish this out. And that looks like it will. Is that played? We got third to first, and the Nationals win. We will take any victory we can get at this stage in the season. Low scoring game, but we do pull it out in the ninth. Thanks to Kyle Finnegan with the save.
Jake Irvin went six innings, eight strikeouts, only two hits, two base on balls, and two earned runs. Looks like uh, one of theirs was a home run. Yeah, we both sco scored early. Lane Thomas with a homer, his seventh of the year. Juan had a double. Right 21 ends. doubles. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, Lane Thomas with his two RBIs happened in the first inning, and then who else had the RBI? Stephen Kwan. Yep. Wow, the bullpen came in and uh, done a job. Irvin give up the two runs and uh, eight strikeouts over six. And then the rest of the boys come behind them and just mopped up. That's beautiful. You love to see it. All right, so we take game one of the series versus Milwaukee and see what game two holds as we put up Trevor Williams. Versus Tyler McHale. Mahale? Maley. Maley. Mal Molly? Maley? Maley. Mal? Mahale. <laughs> Tyler M. Meshahagana? I don't know, man. <laughs> we'll just say, hey, here we go, game two. <laughs> yeah. Game two. Here we go. All right, we've got our second game, second critical situation. Kyle Finnegan trying to hang on. And he will save number 21. And we take game two. That was the quickest critical situation we have ever seen. One pitch. <laughs> Paolo Espino gets credited with win number eight. <laughs> <laughs> the highest winning reliever that baseball has seen. <laughs> our reliever has more wins than our fucking starters. <laughs> oh, shit. Fucking Manassas went fucking today. two for three. Yeah, Alex, Alex Call, Call two for three. Vargas two for four. Time of the ball game. We got down here. Manassas and Call with the doubles. So be I by Garcia and Alex Call. And we remind you to please drive home. All right, yeah. So Trevor Williams, uh, only four hits, but he walked four as well. Charged with three earned runs and then gets pulled. Paolo Espino most likely gets credited with the win because I'm sure he got out of a jam. So maybe multiple runners on base when he took over, but he was able to finish it off. Uh, get out of there unscathed and with three strikeouts. So good on him. Glad he got the dub. And then Kyle Finnegan in another tight situation remains looking good. Save yeah. number 21. Yeah, Espino came in when we were uh, we were losing. Because we were oh, yeah. we were down we were down three two at the end of the six, so he came in and finished off. So he got the win because they took the lead with him on the mound. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Another decent another decent run by our bullpen. I mean, not as many guys involved, but I mean, that's you know, okay. Espino and uh, Finnegan both guys in the bullpen. Takes, right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they came in, they shut them down. So, nothing wrong with that at all. Nice and quick. All right, we're going wow. into game three. We have two wins in a row against the, the Brewers. We got Gore going against Eric Lauer. A 5-11 versus a 10-4. and four. Yep. <laughs> Gore has almost doubled his ERA also. So yep. We'll see what happens. And we lose. And we take the L. We cannot sweep them, but we do take the series. Yep, that's nice to see. What did we do? Well, we Not didn't do much. a whole lot. <laughs> Ow, Abrams put a fucking donut. So did Manessas, Pinder, and Robles. Yeah. Jeez. Kwan walked twice and went one for two. That's all right. I'll take a couple Pretty walks. Good for the OBP, yeah. I'll take a couple walks. Well, Stephen Kwan and Lane Thomas both stole bases. Nice. Yep. 
Oh, Jonathan Hernandez took the loss there. Dang. Gore with six walks, six strikeouts, two earned over six. Not the best line with the six walks, but yeah. I mean, he, he he was held him to two runs. I mean, he kept trying to keep us in the game. Yeah, um, and he he did he did his part. You know, we had only scored two as well, so yeah, definitely can't credit Gore with the loss, but. Hernandez coming in and giving the two up in the seventh is what sealed it. Yeah, we, guess we just couldn't we come back. Just couldn't do anything else. Let's go back to the menu just for a second. I want to make sure we don't see. Oh, view draft picks. Here we go. Is this it? Do we finally have some numbers? And we do. Our highest rated actual potential is David Nunez. And he is our number one pick. So that is nice to see. Scouted potential was 73 to 95, and he comes in at 88. All right, and then let's, uh, if you click his player card, we can see what his rating is right now. He comes in at a 75 overall. That's not bad. That is one of the highest rated players we have right out of the draft. Wow. That velocity and break are nice. Yes, they are. The clutch is okay. And at 20 years old, I don't think he will not, he will not be long to the majors. If no, his that's... if his numbers if his if he if his numbers bump up a couple notches each, he, he, I won't have no problem calling him up. Yep. Like those are good numbers. Yep. So David Nunez steps in with a seventy-five overall. What about Doug James? So he was scouted seventy to ninety-one, and he felt seventy-eight. Not yeah. horrible. Not horrible. It's like nothing wrong with that. A reliever. Yeah, overall is 68, and he's got great numbers. Most of them in the 60s or above, control being the one outlier there. But, I mean, even still, look, that's not bad. 55. No, those, those numbers right there, I, I would say, are extremely strong AAA or, you know, average MLB yep. right now. And at 18, lots of room for improvement. Lots of room for improvement. That's awesome. So then John Cox, third baseman, mm -hmm. 73 to 83, and he came in at 78. Right in the middle of it, yeah. Yeah, also not a bad. I mean, we knew he wasn't going to be a power hitter. We knew that. Right. But, I mean, his clutch, his clutch is decent um, at 66. So Yeah, and the vision and discipline is there, yeah. the contact. I mean, he should be hitting the ground running there. Yeah, so overall 61 right now. I mean, his fielding is is up there. His arm arm accuracy and reaction are a little a little lower than I'd really like, but still, he's solid all the way around everywhere else. Pretty much, the reason that we picked him in the third round was mainly for that contact, vision, discipline, and clutch combo. He's got extremely high durability and the fielding. Yeah, I mean, all those numbers that we picked him for, you yeah. know, they they lined right up to where we want. Yeah, so Definitely I think I think he was that. a good I think it was a good overall. And this yeah. was this was our fourth round pick. Tim James. Yeah. Yep. Eighty four actual potential. Yeah, eighty one to eighty nine, and he comes out at eighty four. That's really good. And uh, I mean, he's his overall is low right now, but I mean, there's lots of room for improvement. Twenty three is a little older than a lot of draftees, but um, I mean, being a reliever. Um, we'll find a spot for him. Yeah, because we have I mean, we have we have a lot of aging fine. players too. Like even in our minor league system, we have aging players. So, mm -hmm. what we're hoping for with James and what we need to watch out for is his hits per nine is extremely low. However, I'm mean, rather it's high, so he will not be giving up hits. Um, what I'm worried about is that his walk uh, attributes. Yeah. That's low, and then once somebody gets on base, that clutch kicks in. So we're gonna have to really monitor his training, yeah, and how we kind of direct his play because the hits per nine is his most um, profitable stat for us, I think. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, if something happens, then we might be in trouble with this guy. All right, Bill Browning, our round five pick, the right fielder with a yeah, fifty-eight to sixty-eight, and he committed to sixty-four. A lowest potential out of our draft class and he's in right field and i think that low potential comes in mainly because he's got no bunting skills to speak of his durability is a little low 
Durability is a little low. I think we're going to want to train that right away. But his fielding, but his overall, arm, of 71. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's, there's, like, I mean, even his speed. Look at his speed and stealing. And his base yep. running aggression. Those are all good numbers. I, I anticipate that he's not going to be very long down in the minors either. No. Um, all of his numbers look right now pretty much major league caliber except for that durability. So if we can keep him healthy and keep him trained, um, I think we'll see him in short order. Yep, I do believe so as well. Yep. And then we got uh, Guadalupe Ochoa. Yeah, and he actually uh, came in towards the higher end of that scouted potential. He came yeah. in at 78. 65 to 87, that's a good. Yeah. Overall, 65 right now. And starting pitcher. Wow. Yeah. So our picks for round five and round six could have easily been higher up. Our, our second overall, Doug James, is a 68. Our fifth round pick, Bill Browning, is a 71. Yeah. And then our sixth round, Guadalupe Ochoa, is a 65 overall, which beats our round three and our round four pick. Yeah. So I, I think we've done pretty good. I mean, it would have been, it would have been nice to have, you know, um, a high 90s, you know, actual potential come out of one of our, mm -hmm. our picks, but I think we've done all right. Well, and I'm also looking at people like Bill Browning, who has an actual potential of 64. His current overall is 71. Yeah. So he is already far outpacing what he was supposed to be doing. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how he reacts in a live system. And once we get some stats on these guys, I would love to see them. Uh, but even so, right now, our lowest rated draft pick was Tim James, a reliever, coming in at 57 overall. Yeah. And and I'm okay with that. If we lose anybody out of all these, losing a reliever, I think, is the easiest L yeah. that we can take there. Yeah, exactly. Maybe he stays in the minors. He stays in the minors. You know, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Yeah, but the rest, the rest of the medic panned out fairly well. We're looking for... Where is he? Pittsburgh. Where is Richard Griffin? Oh. His actual potential is 77. 77. Oh, baby. A 62 overall. Wow. We locked out. We, we beat him with four out of six of our picks. Wow. Look at. Yeah. Closer. Well, yeah, there was a lot of closers way high up in the draft. Yeah, there was there was a few of them, yeah. Who was the number one guy? What was his name? Do you remember? No. Oh, there's that BJ Payne. Hey, BJ Payne. Someone put him first round. 74. Wow. Bring up his card. Oh, 52. He's a 52 overall. Yeah, it's pretty low. That's that's what we anticipated after further scouting. Yeah. Trying to think of who else. Um... There was a couple of fellows that we had. Dennis Conway, he was the closer. That was oh, okay. ranked number one overall. Actual what potential his... 87. 64. Oh, he's overall 64. Yeah, we beat him still, too. Yeah. Too early to say that we dodged a bullet. However, uh, it seems like David Nunez is our number one pick. Uh, was a very, very good choice for us. I think so. I think I think you should hopefully pan out for us. He's not on the list yet. But David Nunez at 75 is going to be tied for our fourth highest rated player. All right, so we pick back up with Lucchesi pitching, and he gets us, wow, six-run lead, top of the eighth. Quan needs a triple to hit for the cycle. Well, I don't think we need to watch that, but it looks like we've got this game well in hand. Holy shit. I do want to see the box score at the end of it. Do, we, do you want to just send the end, or you want to? Well, just simulate to the end, I think. Okay. We don't need to see if Quan gets a triple. It's okay. All right, we take the wind. Uh, hit no on that. And then we'll look at the box score. Lucchesi got the win. Dropped his ERA down as well. Steven Quan with a home run. Well, of course, if he only needed a triple for the cycle, that makes sense. Yeah. No <laughs> Yeah, but Quan going three for five. Driving in two. Abrams two for four. The rest of the boys didn't do a whole lot. No, Manessas with a bagel. That's rare now. Yeah, he's been doing pretty good for us. Not not a not a horrible day. I mean, they only had five strikeouts. Two walks was a little low. 
But yeah. uh, not too bad. It's all right. We made it count. Yeah. Only Chessie going eight innings. Wow. Wow. Only one earned run through eight for Lou Chessie. Seven that's, strikeouts. That's huh. crazy. All are, right. Are you sure that was Lou Chessie? <laughs> Is it someone just wearing a Lou Chessie jersey? I don't know. I know what it was. It was the hot dog vendor from last <laughs> week. We give him Jill and Chessie's jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. Well, Kyle Finnegan gets another save. That's 22 now. He's been racking them up lately. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. We're showing a little bit of life here in the, the mid-halfway mm-hmm. point or so. Yeah, here we were, we were we were talking about our team being absolutely bad and, and going to have a boatload of losses. And here we are, you know, yeah. hey, we got a bad week. For the mm. Nationals, that's not a bad week. Yeah. All yeah, right. true. Game two. All right, gets... Jose Urquidy. Oh. Is, is this his first game since we've got him? Uh, no, he's pitched for us already. He has? Okay. Yeah. Well, he's got a two six seven ERA, 124 innings. He doesn't strike out many, but apparently whatever he does is effective. So let's see. Oh, the L. Peterson's no longer interest or injured. I almost said interested. <laughs> no longer interested. He give the fuck up. <laughs> oh, Espino gets charged with that loss, actually. So maybe that wasn't Urquidy's fault. Lots of action up there. We'll go down to the pitchers first. All right. I'll give up ten hits in five innings. Wow. Yeah, but with four and runs, it makes me feel like he at least kept most of the damage from happening. Yeah. Um. You know, we scored four. So, yeah, he's not charged with the loss, but Espino giving up just the one, that hurts for him. Yeah. Uh, he's been pretty good coming in and actually, really surprisingly, getting a lot of W's for us. But uh, he can't win them all, and uh, he does give up one earned run, and that will unfortunately be enough to do it. Hernandez finally has a pretty good outing again and uh, goes one and a third, giving up only one hit with str- three strikeouts. Yeah. Pretty good, but all three of those guys rolling under a three ERA right now. Can't complain. So pretty awesome. On one, one, one for five. Vanessa's two for four. That's better. Yeah, Kabert two for four. Vargas two for three. Abrams two for four. Yeah. Good player. All right. For the boys. I mean, it, I mean, one only one walk again. Our walks are still pretty low. And yeah. four and four strikeouts, that's not bad. I think we need to look at possibly making a move with uh Victor Robles now. He's been really consistently bad. Uh, yeah, her one eighty seven. Well why don't we take a look at the roster and see what we've got going on at center field with him? Bye, Victor. <laughs> All yep. right, Daniel Peralta is now mm-hmm. going to be joining us at the top level. That's his. His clutch is pretty good. All of his numbers are pretty good, really. Yep. I mean, he's got a little bit of power, too. A little bit. Yeah. My contact All is right. a good thing, though. Yeah. All right. So we'll see what this kid does. See if we can take this series versus the Red. Critical situation. Top of the ninth with two outs, and we are down by one. I'd say let's just sim it. Look at the notables on the side. Daniel Peralta went three for <laughs> three for four. <laughs> wow. All right, we lose the game. A pitcher's duel. 1 and 0. See what happened. Yeah, Daniel Peralta coming in day 1 doing 3 for 4. <laughs> now, he did have some previous MLB stats a little, just bit, for a yeah. little bit, so yeah. that's why his average is not really reflecting no. that. Jake Irvin. Great game. Yep. We just didn't have the offense today. We just couldn't muster any fucking runs. Jesus. That's... Yeah, with a stat like that, it's really sad to see a loss there. <laughs> Irvin didn't deserve that, but his ERA <laughs> will drop. Yeah, I mean, it'll improve his ERA. Is the win-loss hurts a little bit, but I mean, Jesus, six innings, three strikeouts, only two walks, and one earned run. 
That yeah. should win you a ball game. Yes, it should. Yep. All right. All right. We're starting a four game series against Philadelphia. And they are also a team struggling. Yeah, they're like under five hundred. Under five hundred, so all right. What is going on here? Oh, Quan's on a hitting streak. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not worried about the hit streaks. Nope. All right, we lose game one. We drop it three to four. Yeah, it's game two. Now it's time for Gore. Oh, okay. Just a few days. Stained. <laughs> All right. Just auto. Yeah. Hey, Whoa. we game two in a big way. What? Nine to one. What the hell? What happened here? Juan. Peralta going three for five with five RBI. Holy fuck. Oh, Nelly. What in the flying fuck did we have down in the minors for half the season? Scroll, scroll down so we can see what, what was the extended stats on batting here. Uh, uh, Peralta had two doubles. Chad Pinder also had two doubles. Steven Kwan, Joey Maness is joining them with one each. But oh, wow, Peralta. Fucking RBIs. Peralta driving in five, and Mackenzie Gore with one of his best games of the season, it looks like. Seven innings pitched, six hits allowed, but only one earned run, three walks, and six strikeouts. Three walks over seven, that's not bad at all. And ERA no. coming down a little bit. That's nice to see. And then Erasmo coming in and giving up two hits, but no damage actually caused there. Yep. Wow. I awesome. Can't... Wow. Peralta's yeah. average is already <laughs> way up there now <laughs> Holy with a limited sample shit. size, of course, but I'm... still. Wow. Wow. First what? two games, he's coming in and he's making a statement. You love to see it. This kid's like, man, I want to sign a 15-year contract. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so top of the another. seventh. We're down by four. Another mm. milestone. Okay, now. <laughs> Wow, we came back though. It was still lost it, but uh, four to five. five. Well, let's let's uh, let's quickly check. <laughs> for all ah, fucking bum one for four. Yeah, bum. <laughs> back to the fucking miners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. He's our savior. Holy shit! Oh, another Kitty. Yep. All right, let's do this. See if we can take the series or oh, no. split it. I mean, our best situation is yeah. wow. We're in extra innings. Or ask me on the mound. Just, just sim it, I think. Let's see what. Oh no! Oh, no! One to two weeks. All right, so we're gonna miss him for a couple outings. Yeah. Dang. All right. Put him on the fifteen day. Eh? Let's just auto it. I yeah, mean, we do just, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. No. All right, we got Manessis back. Good. All right, let's take a look at that game, though. Um, I want to see, yeah, Rasmo gets charged. Oops. Rasmo gets charged with the loss. But what actually happened? Okay, Peralta got a donut. Most of the other guys didn't do great. Eaton. No. Alex Call got a home run. Jeter Downs with a triple. Nice. Yeah, Urquidy went down early. Yep. Now the rest of the bullpen, wow, they did a really damn good job. So... They scored two. Oh, Erasmo. It's not an earned run. So there was an error. Yeah. That but error. the base on balls must have been that runner. Possibly. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Somebody fumbled it somewhere, and that runner came in. So it's not Erasmo's fault. Riley Adams. Error. Yeah. Oh, that hurts. Fucking their back. That was in the, in the 11th. Wow, the Adams is their backup catcher. Yeah. Oh, man. Brutal. Well, he's hitting 201 for the year. He might be one of the next that we make a triple-A trade for. I don't know. Yeah, well, your backup catcher usually is pretty middling. So, I mean, it'd be nice to find someone maybe a little bit better stat-wise. You never know. We'll yeah. see in the offseason. We'll be able to find a catcher for the Jeep somewhere. Yeah. All right, so we lose game four, we lose the series, and that is a bad uh, week. one for five in the last six. Yeah, mm -hmm. tough. Hey, we're going up against Oakland. 
Hey, we, uh, wow, almost twinsies here in the uh, wins-loss categories. Going against Shintaro Fujinami. Yeah, against Jake Irvin, who, you know what, has been showing some decent backbone here lately. Yeah. All right. See what happens. Another critical. 16 game hit streak. Quan, Quan. Quan's hit streak will not be denied. I'm convinced at this point now. Um, we're up by one, but it's the sevens. Let's sim it. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Jake Irvin. A few days. My inflamed nerve. All right. Well, he's a starting pitcher, so he should be fine by his next outing. But yep. let's see what happened for the rest of the game. We take the L. Again. Yeah. Finnegan got charged with that, actually. Oh, one sitting streak is over. Oh, man. All right. Manessis going three for five with five RBIs. What a day. Jesus. All of our runs, thanks to him, but it's just not enough. No. Nope. Dang. All right, scroll down. Let's see the pitching. Manessis with two homers. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Irvin got taken out. Early as well. Three innings. That's where our pitchers going down. Look at all the pitching help that we got, but then yeah, Finnegan dumped it in the ninth. Oh Three man! Earned runs. Ah damn yeah, it! Yeah, we would have had it. God damn wow. it! You damn bum. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's, let's, all right. What does game two have in store? Let's this week can be end end on a high note. <laughs> nope. No. Oh, jeez. God, this is this is not a not a good not a good uh, August. We're two wins out of our last ten games. Goodness. All right. Do we get swept? Critical situation. We're behind. <laughs> Sim it and see. Just to be quick, and they do. They take it. Wow. So we get swept by the also doghouse. Days yep. to further cement us down in the muck. Oh man! Hey, we didn't lose on the fourteenth. <laughs> hey, we went without a loss on the fourteenth. All right, all right. Drop five in a row. Can we turn it around versus Boston, who is also struggling under five hundred? Nope, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What happened? Wow, another donut. Jameis, oh, Jameis got a shot. He went three for five. There we go. Jameis got a home Rice, run. He's two for four. Marcus yep. two for four. Okay. Eight strikeouts, though. That hurts. Only yeah. one walk. Damn. Like Chessie He's... got taken out after only four innings. Giving up some hits and some Five runs. walks. That's, yeah, that's tough. Yeah. And the rest of the boys just said, hey, if he's going to let in some runs, I will too. <laughs> and then Sean Doolittle was like, nah, I got this. And then we couldn't, couldn't pull it out. Yeah. Oh, man. We score four, but it's not enough to make the dent there. And... Nope. Oh. And another one. <laughs> Espino. Yeah. Poor Pablo. Paolo. One again. What? We gotta bench that bitch? What the hell's going on? Hey now. Hey. Hey. Let's take it easy. Fucking Peralta, two for four. Look at that stud three going. Two for four. Hey, Abrams, yeah. three for four. Okay. God. Got some stuff happening here. Yeah. How'd the pitching do? <laughs> Spino went for five with only one earned run and gets charged with a loss. Oh, Jake Irvin. The starting pitcher only went for one and one third. What? Why is I that? Re that's. <laughs> we had a string of those weird games. You remember? Yeah. Why the hell is a speedo listed above Jake Urban? I don't know. Did Pablo Spino start the game? Is he a starter now? I don't know. I don't think so, because it would make sense. Look at Urban giving up three. But yeah. then, no, look at where it happened. They scored three in the seventh. So, yeah, Espino goes for five. They take him out and put Irvin in. Irvin goes through the sixth. That's one inning. He gets into the seventh, gets one out, yeah. gives up three. So Espino started that game. What the fuck? 
can we take a look at the the pitching rotation? Okay, so oh. Jake Irvin's not a starter. That's why. We have him listed under starting pitchers, but he is playing long relief. Okay, that makes more sense. But when did Espino get put up there? Um, when the I don't Kitty, remember when that. When Keedy went down, maybe. But why is there Keedy over here? Because he's injured. It's got to be. And That's... then they moved Espino up instead of Irvin. Uh, I'm confused. I'm confused too. What what is your Keedy's uh, deal right now? Uh, shoulder strain. One to six days. Yeah, when we hit auto on that, it must have been. Um, it must have just shoved. Must have put over a Spino there. up there. Well, take or take Irvin, and switch him with the Spino. But they list him as a starting pitcher now. He is listed as a starting pitcher. What the hell's going on? Oh, gosh. Hernandez okay. is in. Hernandez Why? was a reliever. He is a reliever. Why? What are we doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. What else is wrong here? Is Erasmo really a reliever? Yes. Yes. Carl Edwards Jr. What about him? Yeah, the, the rest of them are relievers. Except for Urquidy. Reliever, reliever. Okay, yeah. and then when Urquidy is better, we can take out uh, Lucchesi. He's got the worst ERA out of all of them, of course. <laughs> but Espino was in the bullpen, right? I, I At this point, I don't know. It's hard to tell. He's played a lot. <laughs> this is the most innings he's ever played. And he's got a 2.84 ERA. He's got a save. He's got a blown save and two holds. He was relieving. Yes, he was relieving for us. But now he's, he's he has decided to be a starting pitcher and somehow is a damn good one. <laughs> what in the world? I don't even know. I I just the management stud. We we Paolo stayed... Espino said, "Put me in, coach," and proceeded to wreck face and hold under a three we, ERA. We we hired all new managing and coaching staff, and they're just doing whatever the fuck they want. We are we are not being consulted here. No, we are discovering these things. Yeah, as as we look at box scores, they're like, like what the hell? Who's this guy? <laughs> it's like those columns from the miners. We didn't call them up. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Come on, boys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tie game. Batting at home. Walk it off, slugger. Nah. <laughs> I don't think they will. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. I don't even want to see the box score. We've lost eight games in a row now. Oh, just, just. Oh, there good. Arkady's go. back. Oh, my Let's God. Go back, go back to the pitching rotation, and we'll make sure that your is back. Oh, on. my God. We lost another one. Nine games in a row. All right. So, Arkady is in there. He replaced Jake Irvin. Why don't we take Irvin and put him in Lucchesi's spot now? Leave Arkady there at the top. That's fine. All right. That should be it. Oh, my God. This is... This is bad. Yeah. Uh, top of the ninth, we're up Where's by. Where's the shot out going? Wow, good for him. We, we get a victory. Finally, win. Thanks to Mackenzie Gore. Prowl to two for four. There we go. Pender two. Pender for two for three. Jinx. Okay. Pinder and Jeter downs with home runs. Peralta a stolen base, and then also called stealing, caught stealing later. But wow, the the game from Gore here, eight innings pitched with only four hits allowed, one earned run. He did walk six, but he struck out seven as well. Now, Finnegan Finnegan tried not to doing save. great, but still gets the save. Yeah. yeah. Wow. All right, can we start a winning streak, please? No. No. Yeah. Double A injury. Well, oh my God, we get trounced. Well, piss. I 
I mean, only had four strikeouts, no walks. Yeah. But five hits. Pinder and Peralta did okay. Jake Irvin started the game off, <laughs> gets replaced <laughs> by Lucchesi, who he replaced. They both shit the bed. <laughs> Carl Edwards, Carl Edwards Jr. goes longer than both of them. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you said put Jake Irvin in the rotation and look what happened. We told Jake Irvin, it's your time, kid. And he said, I don't have a watch. What time is it? Oh, my God. I fucking <laughs> suck, apparently. <laughs> oh, my God. Five earned over two and two thirds. Yeah. He had two strikeouts, though. So fucking shit. <laughs> Oh, fucking Jesus. I I don't know. Yeah. Hey, look, we can lose on the 21st. 